You know, it's been interesting to see different pictures online of cities being emptied out, of stores being vacant, of like Times Square not having any tourists, uh, of beaches being empty. It just show as a result of all this social distancing and self quarantining and everything like that. And it's made me think of Second Chronicles uh, 36, the exile from Israel into um, into Babylon, and you know, this is Second Chronicles 36 is the end of the Old Testament, the way that the Old Testament used to be ordered, the way that the Jews read it now, the way that Jesus would have read it in his day. This is the very end of the Old Testament. Israel, as you know, is, is the, was the people of God, and he gave them commands uh, to remind them of who they belong to, of uh, how to cultivate their relationship, and how to deepen in Him. And one of those commands was Sabbath, to take time to rest, to stop working, to stop doing things, even to stop shopping and, and commerce and everything, and to rest and contemplate who He was, what He had done, and what He was continuing to do in their lives. And the Jews... Uh, of the Old Testament broke those commands over and over and over again. They did not observe the Sabbaths as they should. They, um, they eventually, uh, because they worshipped idols and did all kinds of other things, um, God ends up sending Babylonians, sending foreign kings to um, overtake, to, uh, to conquer their land and eventually empties out the land and sends them off into exile. And this is what Second Chronicles says about it. He, meaning the, uh, the Babylonian king, took into, ex took into exile in Babylon those who had escaped from the sword, and they became servants to him and to his, his sons until the establishment of the kingdom of Persia. Why is that? To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed its Sabbaths. All the days that it lay desolate, it kept Sabbath to fulfill 70 years. You know, God tells us that he's going to do this in the book of Leviticus. It's interesting to think about our culture that just goes and goes and goes and never stops. We only find more opportunities to work we only find more opportunities to buy. Um, all of the books that we read are about time management, productivity, how to get more done faster. We are constantly going and we make no time to stop, to slow down, and to contemplate who we are, and even more so who God is. So I, I wonder if God is, if that's partly what God is doing here. If he's emptying out all of these things to make us stop, to make us slow down, to make us consider and contemplate him and who we are in light of who he is, to recognize our limitations, to recognize our need for rest, and most of all, to recognize our need for salvation. One of the things I saw recently was the beach down in, in Gulf Shores, it's one of the only times that the beach has been completely emptied out. And because the beach had been emptied, because there was nobody there, the beach workers were able to take a tractor and to go through and dig down deep into the sand and to pull up all the cigarette butts and water bottles and beer cans and all of these awful things that have been polluting the beautiful beaches and Gulf Shores for probably years. You know, that's what Sabbath does for us. That's what this time of God making us to cease, to quit work for those of us who are staying home and not working as much, to spend time with our family, to step back from our regular day-to-day -day society, to um, be unable to buy things and purchase. God is calling us to slow down so that he can take the tractor of the Holy Spirit and grate through our hearts and pull up dirty, 
dusty, polluting, awful things that we don't even know are buried inside of us. So lean into this time. I feel like I say this in every devotion. Lean into this time. Let God search you. Look at your life. Look at your idols. Look at the things that you put your hope in rather than God. Consider how hard it is for you to just stop. How hard this transition from going all the time to stopping all the time has been. And to know that God is at work even now, maybe even especially now. And He's at work for our good to make us more like Jesus.